All right, guys, at this point, we're going to start laying out these, uh, the door opening. I kind of went ahead of time again uh, to save some time on, on recording uh, some numbers for you guys and make some more clarifications as well as we get this because there's a lot goes into this, but I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Also, one of clarification, I'm going to make sure you know that we're going to make this a 3 0 door instead of the original number I gave you guys in the previous video. I also broke down the same out, everything the same. It comes out 19 and a half, like we spoke in another video. Our door is going to be quarter inch equals three. That's our uh, scale it's for this particular layout. Uh, just another kind of rule of thumb what they do out in the fields. It depends on who you're working with. They usually lay out their partition walls first and then they turn around and then lay out their doors. And then the last thing they will do is lay out their studs. So, but in this particular case, we laid out studs because it makes it much easier for us to go ahead and do our doors and windows and transfer them back and forth in this particular procedure. But again, you can do it however you want to make it. You can do the same way you do it in the fields. Lay out your partitions first, and then lay out your uh, your windows and doors, and then lay out your studs. It all is just a preference. Really comes down to person. All right. So already doing this thing already. We know we gotta come from center, right? So if you come back to your drawing from days, uh, from a few days, whatever, just know you got equals on both sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is your back to your center stud. You can measure the center of your door. I mean your door, uh, center of your your wall. This is a seven and a half. Do the math, and again, this is twelve going up. And we're gonna do that real soon. All right, so. We're using a rough opening of a 3-0, which is going to be three foot three. And when you break it down, do the math, that's 19 and a half. We're going to inches. And again, we divide them by two. And then since our scale is a uh, quarter inch equals three, we got to break it down to the farther math. It'll come out to be one inch and 11 16th, the representation of 19 and a half, broken down to a scale. So, we know from center, we went to 11, I mean 1 and 11 sixteenths. I went to the left, 11 and 1 sixteenths. Basically, we began, we just count these tick marks. So, this is 0, this is 1. You can go until you get to 11, which pretty much stops right before 12 sixteenths. So, if you know before it comes out to before, you're good to go that way. Or again, you can just go to quarters, back up to, go up to, and you know it's a three quarter mark. That's the eights, but sixteenths is basically count by ones. I'm not gonna confuse you guys. All right, stay on topic, Mr. Ohms. All right, here we go, man. So we got these layout right here, um, an inch and eleven sixteenths both ways, and make sure our door is the same way. And so what we can do is basically. Come up our six foot, uh, six foot ten and a half, which is eighty two and a half inches, to get our actual uh, side door, I mean, uh, top of our uh, header, the bottom of our header. And again, the math for this one will be three inches and seven sixteenths will be the bottom of our actual uh, header. So that'd be the bottom of our header. We're gonna go up our distance for our header size. We're gonna double it. So we're gonna make it a quarter inch just to give it an indication that it's a, a two by ten header. Alright. So 82 and a half again is six foot ten and a half, which is also three and seven sixteenths. Because we put it in a scale. Again, we are taking our scale down half an inch equals, I mean I'm sorry, quarter inch equals three inches. Let's go ahead and go up three and seven sixteenths. Again, we use our side on the side, do a benchmarks on the side, and we just transfer it in. We come in. So one, what? Let me zoom up. Let's just zoom in and come in closer this way. 
Again, we're gonna go on three. I'll tell you guys, we're going on three and seven sixteenths. So one, two, three. Again, just count the tick marks. One, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, it's the seven sixteenths is right behind, right below the half inch mark. So if you're still struggling with the math, keep it simple. Keep it real simple. One, two, one, two, three, and again, seven sixteenths. So we got the half right there will be a mark and if you know you do it on this side you have to do it on the other side as well just to keep control lines that's how we get our bench lines that's how we get away with just using a ruler Job, we can get faster because we're actually going to go up an inch and a uh, quarter inch to get the header and everything else. And we should have indicated that already up here. We could have did it on the sides to do that. But I just want to go ahead and give you a, a rough opening of what this is going to look like. Uh, so then we're going to build on the next video. I'm trying to keep it kind of keep it light. All right. So since we know this is how wide it's going to be, we know how tall it's going to be right here so we can actually get a little box over in here let's just do that stand within our tick marks it's all right if you go a little bit out the box and that's the top that's the bottom well in your case that's the again the bottom of the header So let's just get rid of, so we can get rid of most we can get rid of all of this in here because it's not none of this retains to the door but as you can see I'm leaving it up top and ask yourself why would I leave it up top The reason why I leave it up top because again it becomes easily becomes a top cripple door top cripple. All right, I'm sorry, top door cripple. So this is one of the reasons why I leave it. You can leave it as I say. You can leave your studs out already when you're doing drawings. Find the faster way of doing it. all laid out on center or 16 on center all right get your brush and get your wet nap you don't want the excess Get inside your doors. All right. Now you can connect your doors, stopping where exactly where it intersects. Door right there. 
door opening, rough opening, 3 0 door rough opening. All right. Just want to clear this up a little bit. See the door opening right now. Now we go ahead and put all our rest of the trim pieces in there. Now you're gonna put your you wanna go your quarter inch up because I'm giving you saying a, a two by ten gonna indicate that our two by ten is gonna be a quarter inch just to give it a um, of a header you can go bigger than that you can go whatever you want to go a half an inch you put a half an inch in there uh, giving you an indication that maybe it's a 2 by 10 or 2 by 12 most likely it's 2 by 10 so it's gonna be a 2 by 10 header depends on really how, how tall you're opening with a 3 you can use a 2 by 10 header um, I'm more comfortable with 2 by 10 headers uh, the low bearing purposes of it uh, so you can make this I think I've been making a uh, let's go to I'm gonna make it a half an inch. I think I'm gonna stick with what I was using the game. Let's go half an inch. Let's make a door half an inch and just know this is gonna be our um, 2 by 10 header. This is our half inch for our door header. It's going across right here. Let's make the line going across. Side. Like I said, we're leaving the labeling for another time. We're just going to use our measurements in there and explain to you how do we get there all right so you see this two by four right there on edge right next to it so Okay, so leave it there. Let me just clean up this edge here. There you go. So it gives that weird illusion that it's there. So what you can do, you can actually move it over just in case you want to break there on that and then put an extra
2x4 on there. Slam uh, sandwich it next to it so we have uh, some more backing just in case they have to break on it. I just make that a double. Just do that, make that a sandwich those two together. So double two by four there. Now you top cripple there. this now just making some corrections in here as we go along so let's go with quarter of an inch Darken this up for purposes of uh, trying to stay in the camera with this as well. So, just in case the taper, I mean, drywall will come in and wants to break on that wall. You don't have to worry about trying to fill it in or something, or try to cut a two, try to cut a two by four on a on a bevel or something like that, or just squeeze it in there. Just move it over and snap on, uh, smack on another cripple next to it, so it can keep layout and has something to break on. Darken this header opening. So you were saying, what are you missing? You're missing your trimmer stud or jack stud. Got to go in there. And you can see it's coming along, so we're just gonna that's a two two by fours on the edge again. I mean to give it backing purposes. But we just literally took a door, a actual wall section, and we converted it out into a door opening. Um, just give you a better idea how things are so easy for uh studs become strict um other members because of sections you're coming you're walking into. I just want to make this cleaner. The tendency of sometimes overdrawing on lines. So it's best to make the corrections right then and there.
thing also is done in the field is that they'll put a two by four right on top of so they'll sandwich the two by four together like a put they'll make it look like a just imagine a peanut butter and jelly sandwich sandwich together smash it so it's a two by four two by or two by ten two by ten and a piece of half inch plywood in between makes it like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich but on top of it, now you have this gap. You got this half inch gap. So they'll put a two by four to go ahead and put and compensate for that. You say, how is that possible, right? Well, an inch and a half plus an inch and a half, right, is what? Three. And you got that half inch in there. So if you put a two by four on flat, you get that three and a half inches. Now it caps it. Now you have like a full on box. Now you can set that in there. They'll do it at the top. They'll do it at the bottom sometimes. Just give you a lift to, to hang on, uh, hit something to hit on to. So we can go ahead and put that uh, two by four on the bottom of here. You know, how we indicate that is by eighth of an inch. These are things you can think about before you actually start drawing. Get yourself uh, out of trouble when it comes to making these uh, corrections. But I just want to make sure I get everything out there to you guys. Is that those are certain things you, you have to ask. Uh, some people frame different. You know, some people just put it, put, put it there and move on. You know, for some people just, they don't take the time out to, not saying it's not a bad thing to move on like that. Like, it's not, it's just a preference, it's really a preference, but I would definitely reach out to the the architect and, you know, your supervisor, whoever you're working with, or just, again, know what's best. How would you want your place? So, Nothing wrong, nothing wrong, it just depends on how you guys want to work on it. But on job sites, guys and girls don't want that. They're like, no, nah, man, it's waste of time. Or something. I'm like, okay. On our job sites, so people want that. So, but I get because, again, it's just this preference at this point. And I think it has also added structure to a member. Again, it's two by four. It's just there for the purpose of giving these top cripples, door cripples, something to nail to. Instead of just toe nailing into the inch and a half. Well, there's not much that happened on this, so I was just gonna run back to the end. We gotta put our two by fours, and I gotta put our king stud. Well, actually, you know what? Just show you this. This actually got to extend over. We actually gonna extend our door opening over to catch our jack. So we gotta put our trimmer stud in there, our jack in there. And our king stud. In this case, we're gonna put two trimmers and a king stud to help carry this load of this uh, opening. So what I'm gonna do is at the top, go eighth, eighth, and another eighth. So that's jack. Jack King Stud. Yeah, we do it top, we gotta do it at the bottom.
that came out. Let me just turn this over real quick. Jack. My trimmer. Same thing over here. So I'm gonna zoom in for you. Now I'm just pushing, I'm just putting in my uh my king studs and trimmer studs and all the stuff like that. That's all I'm doing, installing those things. And I'm gonna end it real soon. So I'm gonna go Jack, Jack, King Stud. Instead of the jacks all the way up, they're gonna stop as high as this header right here. So I'll go ahead and do your king stud first. King thing on this side. By definition, you're gonna have to add more studs in for the door opening itself. You're gonna have to move some studs over. This is why I said they laid it out first, then they do all that stuff. It's already seemed like we gotta move this one over. This back in. Just run our both of them over to this line right here, and we'll just stop it. Let's erase this. Getting kind of wonky in there. See where it gets kind of messy, man. You just gotta keep patience, and you get better. You will get better. Don't think you won't. Right now, it's a learning curve. When you're trying to fit everything in, and you're frustrated, you're going to get better.
so our hair is going in there. We're gonna extend this over to the header. Get rid of this line here. Just darken up our door opening. All right, because we compensated for that, we got now we got to add on these checks. Are you know it's going to be kings. You can use those. Again, for change those into for your stud purposes. All right, let's go ahead and put our studs in. Cripple studs in and damn trimmer studs as well. So let's just do both. Should find some enough space in here. This is where, again, by definition, it tells you you gotta make adjustments for the door opening. That's an eighth of an inch. That's an eighth of an inch. And it's gonna be for trimmer studs. That king stud right here. And right now, like a bunch of studs in one spot. a little bit. 